kids that are raised around an atmosphere of prayer, there's a difference on their life. The anointing comes on them, it brands them. And I'll tell you, the atmosphere of prayer, it changes our, our children. I pray for my kids by name every day. I think all of us should call their name out. Pray anything else in a day. Call out all your children and pray their names out. And ask God to bless them and help them. And I'll tell you, that, that atmosphere of prayer, it begins to make them think that all things are possible. I've got a, I've got a 10-year-old, her name is Briley, and uh, Briley is like the prototype pastor's kid, you know. She's got two preacher parents, and she's just, uh, she's itching. She, she, wants to, she wants to preach. She wants to speak. She always wants to be in the middle of it. And, and she was getting ready to turn 10. She was riding. She was in the back of the truck, and I was driving. And she said, Dad, I figured out what I want for my birthday. I said, oh, really? What, what do you want for your birthday, honey? You know, t- tell me. She said, Dad, for my birthday, I want to go to Disney World. And I'm like, oh, brother, are you kidding me? You know, and I, I kind of look all around and I say, Briley, listen, for your birthday, you got to have measured expectations, all right? I'm like, for your birthday, you don't get an all expense trip to Disney World. That's crazy. Get like a doll, maybe a cake. You know, you got you to gotta get something like that. So I'm thinking, I know how tricky Mickey can be, and I don't want him in my, in my wallet. Somebody say amen to that. So I'm like, no, no, we're not going to Disney World. And she said, well, if you're not going to take me to Disney World, she said, I'm going to pray to Jesus, and Jesus is going to take me to Disney World. And I'm like, oh, my. I'm like, how am I going to tell her? She already worked me over for a dog like that. I bought her a dog, but I wasn't about to take her to Disney World by her manipulating me with her prayer, you know. So I'm like, it's not happening. And uh, so she prays. And I'll tell you, she knows how to pray. She's praying a prayer like Kenneth Copeland in the back seat of my car. She's like, Father, now I just believe that we receive a trip to Disney World. And I stand on Mark 11, 23 and 24. If I ask anything in your name, I believe that you will do it. And I declare this is mine and I have it. And I'm going to wear those ears and ride Space Mountain in Jesus' mighty name. I declare it so. Amen. She prays this prayer. And I'm like, only a preacher's kid can pray a prayer like that at 10 years of age. And I'm sitting there, and I tell you, 30 seconds later, I look down, and my phone rings. And the call on my phone was from Orlando, Florida. I answer it, and it's a pastor friend of mine. And he said, hey, Brian, I was just thinking, I want you to come down here to Orlando and minister at my church. I said, when do you want me to come? She said, he, he said, I want you to come on uh, May 29th. Let me tell you when Briley's uh, birthday is. May 29th was a Sunday, and May 30th was her birthday on the following day on the Monday, 30 seconds later. I turn around, I look at Briley, I'm like, you're not going to believe what just happened. I said, that's, that's Pastor Caleb Worley, Orlando. He wants me to come preach the day before your birthday. She grinned ear to ear, and she said, Jesus loves me. That's what she said. Come on, somebody give God a hand clap. That's our prayer. And I'll tell you, Today it might be Mickey Mouse. Tomorrow I believe it could be nations. Come on, I believe it could be language groups. I believe it could be the gospel all around the world. 